Everybody's like different. It's like we all experience like the same type of stuff, mm -hmm. but we all got like unique stuff that kind of makes us us. You know what I mean? It makes us unique from others. So I kind of want to put that together in the song. So even with the beat, like the transitions is like different, different. You know what I mean? Switching up the styles and stuff. So okay, if you had to choose between Kanye West and producing beats electronically. And actually playing an instrument, which one would you choose? If you could, like. Ooh, that's a tough. Like, I always want to know how to play, like, the piano. Like, my dad's played it, like, my family plays instruments. But I think I would probably choose to do everything, like, on FM. Just because I got more options of different types of sounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just make an 808. You know what I mean? Like, you need a program for that 808. Okay, so out of all the songs you've created, which one is your favorite? Ooh, a favorite? <laughs> which one do you listen to the most? The most? I have to say Gary Coleman. Yeah, because the beat is just, it's kind of chill, it's constant, but I made it that way so people will focus more on the lyrics. But I love it the most because it's like the... It's like the best story I think I told. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, only people who really, for real, for real, is people who know the people in the story. Mm -hmm. Think anybody can. Kind of thing kind of well, where can your music be found? Where can we download your music? Where can we find you? I say my main hub for real is YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, there's like Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, and then it's like some stuff on Facebook. You know what I mean? And all of them have the same name, Ace Drama? Yep. Ace Drama. Okay. That's very, <laughs> very appropriate. Most people have they they have their stage name and they have mass different names. <laughs> like like what? Hold on, wait. I gotta write all this down now. Trying to build a brand here. So how many albums do you actually have put together? Zero. Zero? Zero albums. 
I mean, like mixtape wise, I've been releasing singles because it seems like that's what really gets the buzz going for me. But I have been working on a mixtape, you know, like with my homeboy, and that's gonna be dropping here in like, say, fall 2013, maybe like November, December type. What's gonna be the name, y'all? Have y'all come in that? The concept is kind of like, we want to have it something to do with three. You know what I'm saying? Like three, just because of the way that it's set up. It's a few songs that start with three. Like one's called Three C, and it's like Cool, Calm, and Collective. So we've been trying to incorporate that three. three okay, So trio, the trace. Okay. What are your hobbies? What do you like to do besides music? Besides music? Yeah. Hmm. I like to. I like to chill, <laughs> like for real. I like to chill out with my homeboys and just do random stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so what's random stuff? I mean, be specific. Anything out of the ordinary. Like we ordinarily go to the hookah bar. You know what I'm saying? We ordinarily go bowling. So out of the ordinary, paintballing, yeah. go karting, yeah. bridge jumping, <laughs> you know, whatever. Okay. All right. So. Have you ever had a mentor? Yeah. Okay. Well, what valuable lessons have they taught you? you it's really just life lessons, like stuff you gotta know pretty much to make it to where you wanna make it in this world. You know what I'm saying? Like simple stuff, like pretty much view things as, as they are. You know what I'm saying? Like little lessons like that. So what specific lesson has taught and touched you the most? What do you feel? What I'm on right now is really just understanding people. It just seems like what I notice is people really just out to help themselves. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like finding the truth in their words. You know what I mean? Because they really out to help themselves. Like they will screw you to get to where they're trying to get. So trying to know how to play the game. What are your goals for the future? Where do you see yourself being in five? Balling, <laughs> like, man. I want that challenger. You know what I'm saying. I want. My, I want to work with major producers. I want to be in there with Pharrell and Kanye and Cardo and Sledgeman. And I can keep going. Clans Casino. Like I really want to work with these people. I want to make a beat. You know, like for even like local artists. Like, I really want Lantana to be on one of my beats. Like I feel like that'll be some Cincinnati right there. That's that's what I really want. Well, okay, who was one of your favorite artists that you've done a collaboration with? Who do you want to continuously work with? Maybe that's not. Sugar and Egg. Hey! <laughs> no, nah, but besides me, like, who is you, like, rapping wise? Who has actually graced your mic and you felt like, man, we gotta just keep going, keep the pushing? Like a rapper? Yeah. I'd probably say my homeboy, Cam. That's the one who I'm working on this mixtape with right now. And yeah, like he really does his thing and we just click on so many levels, like it just flows in the air. Do you ever go off of a specific topic when you're rapping or anything? Yeah, there's always like a topic for the song. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to the process of making a song, I mean the beat's gonna go where the beat goes, but then once we kinda get the feel for the beat, we get the concept and that's how we stick to the topic. Do you ever make a beat for the words that you're doing? Yeah, I've done that. It usually turns out better the other way around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've done that. So, what are your usual motivations and inspirations? I say just life. It's really just putting my experiences, you know what I mean, into some sort of melodic, rhythmic pattern. <laughs> you know, if people can just do this, you know what I mean, do that with it. So. Okay well, okay, well, would you rather have people dance to your music or would you rather have them just chilling out listening to the words that you say? I say I appreciate people dancing, but just the type of person I am, like, I dance a little bit for real and I listen to music, but I'm really listening to, like, everything. So I'm the type of guy who I'll hop in my car and turn my music up and just be rolling through the city chill. So I think my music targets those type of people more. It's more chill. Well, if you were to give advice to young people coming into the music field, what kind of foundations would you actually teach them for coming into? First off, start young. Mm -hmm. Like the younger you start, the better you're gonna get like by this age that I am now. Mm -hmm. 
you know what I'm saying, and just practice, practice, practice. Like, you got to really beat down on your craft because there's a difference between, like, talent and work ethic. And I believe that work ethic could get you further than talent. Well, I want to thank you, Mr. Ace Drama, for coming out to my show, being the vocal, and... <laughs> <laughs> that was an outtake. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so cutting. <laughs> uh, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for coming out to the show. And being an artist whose music influences a lot of people who have listened to us on. I've got a lot of remarks back from the music that was made back. That's what I'm saying. We are from the same way. Tune in to www.blogtalkradio.com slash epiphany lounge for poetic eclipse. The night of poetry. The poetry shall take over the internet that night. So call in, type it in, listen in, and focus on the line. Much love.